Hello everybody, happy Saturday. Boy do I have like a little intro for you. Ready? <clears throat> You've heard awesome quotes by the Beatles, but what about awesome quotes by the Beatles? Ninety-five percent of like the music industry likes the Beatles or has been inspired by the Beatles. So I made it my job to look up a bunch of musicians quotes about the Beatles that I find to be the most accurate and true and I totally agree with. I just repeated myself like three times. Here we go. The monkeys. The four kings of EMI are sitting stately on the floor. Okay, well, I think the Four Kings of EMI is the most accurate description of the Beatles. That is like the perfect title for the Beatles. Bravo to the monkeys for coming up with that, because I really like that. Next is from Dave Grohl, who said, From one generation to the next, the Beatles will remain the most important rock band of all time. Amen, Dave Grohl. Tom Petty said, My boy band was the Beatles. And I agree with that because my boy band is the Beatles. Everybody at one point in their life has that boy band they like. And ours just happened to be the, 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 the. And ours just happened to be the Beatles. Stevie Nicks, this is a quote referring to a picture that is one of my favorite pictures ever taken of her and George Harrison sitting side by side. And she says, when I go on the road, it goes right on my makeup mirror. So before I go on stage, whether it's with Fleetwood Mac or me and my solo career, the three of us are looking back at me, and that has been my inspiration every night. Come on, that's just really cute. Next up, we got Roger Taylor, who said, I'm a big John Lennon fan. I could go on about him forever. Totally agreed. Like, you always hear people say they're big fans, and then you hear somebody say, I could just go on about them forever, and you're like, oh. We need to have a conversation. Nancy Wilson said, We didn't want to marry them or anything. We wanted to be them. This is really awesome. Because it's true, I mean... A lot of people wanted to marry them, but... Also, you wanted to be them. Roger Waters says, which, and I really like this quote, says, But I learned from John Lennon and Paul McCartney and George Harrison that it was okay for us to write about our lives and what we felt and to express ourselves. That we could be free artists and that there was a value in that freedom. And there was. That's just a nice quote. Because, I mean, you never really think about that. The Beatles really, I mean, before the Beatles, I mean, very, very rarely did somebody um, write, write their own music and really write personal, very personal, not writing for people writing personal like I don't even care if anybody likes it I'm just gonna write from my heart that kind of thing and the Beatles I think are one of the first bands to really start doing that Donovan said this quote he says this quote a lot and I actually had I was in the audience at the fest when he said this quote so I'm deeply honored by that but um he said if Paul McCartney fell on a piano, by the time he picked himself up, he would have written three songs. Yes. That is so true. McCartney just does not stop. Oh, this is a good one. Brian Wilson. There's no outdoing the Beatles. Yes. Um, do I have to explain why I like that one? No. Oh, this is a story from David Bowie, and it is <laughs> so great. I will show the video instead of reading it because I will take away the humor of it. And I, and I was sort of, it's John Lennon. I don't know what to say. Don't mention the Beatles, you'll look really stupid. <laughs> and he said, hello Dave. And I said, I've got everything you made, <laughs> except the Beatles. <laughs> David is literally the fangirl inside us. David Bowie accurately represented what each and every one of us would have done. Next is Brian May, who said, I don't think anyone comes close to the Beatles, including Oasis. I am not a huge Oasis fan. I like like two songs. 
But, um, and I don't really know a lot about them. I know enough to know that they were compared to the Beatles often. Um, Liam often thought <laughs> he was better than the Beatles, but I just like Brian May. Brian May is the nicest guy in rock. I really, I really think he's just the nicest guy. And just him to give that shade is just awesome. All right, this is a quote from Todd Rundgren. People don't realize that previous to the Beatles, there was no such thing as an album artist. People made singles. Then they would put a bunch of those singles together and call it an album, and that was it. I never really thought about that until I read that quote just the other day. And maybe the first few albums, but eventually they didn't want to just make an album out of singles. They wanted to make an album that flowed, told a little bit of a story, had had more than just, let's throw all the singles together on here. You know, a, a specific order, a specific, a, a specific way they wanted it, a specific order. And that's awesome. This quote from Joe Perry who said, I don't think there's anything anybody's doing that the Beatles didn't at least try at some point. That is so on point. Like you're playing music or whatever and you hit a note and it sounds really cool and different and you're like, oh wait, that's from a Beatles song. Oh wait, that's from one of Paul's songs. Oh wait, that's from one of George's songs. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> everything always goes back to the Beatles. Here's a quote from Yoko Ono herself. No one person could have broken up a band, especially one the size of the Beatles. I am a firm believer in Yoko did not break up the Beatles. So I really support that quote. And I think she explains and defends herself very well in that quote. Bands are a very tight knit group. No matter what people come in and out of the band, the main dudes are the main dudes. And for one person to just come in and wreck that relationship is virtually impossible. Now, she may have added on tension, but she did not solely break up the Beatles. The Beatles were ready to break up. Who said that? I think. Paul said that? I forget. One of the Beatles said that. I'm pretty sure one of the Beatles said that the Beatles broke up because they were ready to break up. And that's all there is to it. Okay, next we got a quote from Ben Montench. It says, Listen to the Beatles' things we said today. Ringo Starr does not play a fill in the entire song. It doesn't need it. A Day in the Life has plenty of gorgeous fills, but there, the song needs it. When I play on any record, I'm striving to get where Ringo is. You play what doesn't take you out of the song. First off, that really describes Ringo. Ringo knew when to play what exactly. He knew when it would be too much, when it would be too little, if you should do this, that. People are so on top of Ringo for not being that great a drummer. I think he's one of the best. I'm not a drummer. I don't know all the techn technical stuff about it, but I think Ringo's a great drummer. Ringo wasn't a show-offy drummer. That's not the type of drummer Ringo was. Ringo didn't like solos, as we all know. He's not a very show-offy sort of drummer. He's not a, let's have a million pieces of the drum kit everywhere. Then nothing's wrong with that, that's awesome. But you know, Ringo was simple and he knew where things were needed, where they weren't, and what should be done in a song. And he, and Benmont said it right, like, you gotta, any musician, you gotta play what doesn't take you out of the song. And it goes both ways. You wanna play to where you're in the song and notice, but you don't wanna play to where you're, that does not sound needed. Another quote from Robin Zander says, I always liked that about bands like the Beatles. They could be so touching at one moment and then helter skelter the next. Let's face it, the Beatles, were the masters of covering every genre in the book and have the most soulful and sweet and romantic songs yet the next moment they're just like going crazy garage band. So those are all the quotes I've actually physically looked up and found. Now if you will please leave comments with quotes and quotes and quotes and quotes upon quotes about um, about the Beatles. I guess they could be from the Beatles about the Beatles but I like hearing it from other people who have, been, who have been inspired by them because I think you relate to them more because they're the fans, you know what I mean? But 
But really, and I love hearing people compliment the Beatles. I really do. <laughs> when people compliment the Beatles, I take it as a compliment. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next week, and ha-ta.